Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to review the boy book called Real by Don Freeman. It is about how the little bear called Cordial uh, in the green overall who were able to find his friend at the end. It is a very sweet, heartwarming story. And after the first time I read it, I cried because the story is just so beautiful. I go over the book with you. Cordial Story and Pictures by Don Freeman by the Viking Press in New York City. The first one is just about how Cordial um, is just waiting in the shelf with the other toys waiting for a friend to come. This is the shopping mall. This is Lisa and her mother. Lisa really loves Cordrill, but mommy said we already bought too much stuff today and we do not have extra money to spend on other things. Plus the uh, Cordrill, because you see on his overall, there's a button missing. So the mommy thinks um, he doesn't look new, so he doesn't worth the extra cash. Cordial said really sad on this page, said, oh, I don't know, I'm, I, I lost a button. And he's determined to find the missing button. Very adventurous bear. See, he's, he saw the escalator. He thought it's a mountain because it's so tall for him. Yeah, he said he always want to climb a mountain. And here, he saw the furniture store. And he thinks it's a palace because he have so many beds um, and lamps and tables yeah everything he imagined and want to have but never ha was able to have that he saw the mattress and on the mattress there are button like things on top so he thought it's one of the missing buttons among them so he tried to pull really hard he used too much strength so the button fell off from the mattress with him. And he bumped into a floor lamp. Because he made so much noise. So the actually there's someone else in the store that day. The night watchman was there. And the, the night watchman found him. Over here, with the little ears hanging on the top. And I like how the watchman didn't just grab the bear directly. He asked, hello, how did you get upstairs? He's very polite. And he even carries Cordero in his arms. That's a very sweet detail. And Cordero went back to the shelf to sleep and yeah so lisa came the other day with the money to bring him home and yeah he said you are going to be my very own bear i counted my piggy bank and Mother said I could bring you home. And the store clerk asked, um, do you want me to put Cordero in the box? I like how Lisa just hold him in the arm 
uh, to treat him truly as a friend, not just as an item. Next page. So they are going through the flights of stairs to the family's apartment. And Lisa prepared a little bed just for the corduroy. And that's the part that's so heartwarming is, this must be home, Cordero said. I know I've always wanted a home. And here Lisa sat down with Cordero on her lap and began to uh, saw the button on his overall to help him to rebuild his confidence. And I also like how Lisa said, I like the way you are, but you will be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. In the end, it's really uh, tearful as well. It says, you must be a friend, said Cordero. I've always wanted a friend. And Lisa said, me too, and gave him a huge hug. The end. So the things I like about this book is, although the pages are not as thick as I imagined, and the story is a little too complicated for my one-year-old to understand fully, but I really like the story and the pictures, even if they don't understand the whole plot, the pictures are so cute and so detailed. In the store one, you can see all the beautiful details, little details in the picture. So I think it worth it to buy um, from for your baby, even if they are small. It's a great read for the parent. I also like the story. I think the, the corduroy represents children. They like, they're small and they're, um, the world seems so big around them. So they need a friend or somebody to help them and treat them with kindness so that they can explore freely and um, they won't feel too afraid about it.